This is the majority of our supplies. We've got a half inch piece of plywood and a 3 8 piece of plywood and four two by threes. Really simple, cheap wood. We started by measuring out what kind of space we had in the minivan. It ended up being in a Dodge Caravan about seven and a half feet in length. So we cut our plywood to that length and then we made a two foot cut on this piece of plywood. This is for the slide out bed frame. We then wanted to measure the height of the bed frame off of the ground of the van, which we decided would be about one foot. Then we cut two one foot pieces of two by threes, and these will be the supports for the two foot piece of plywood. Then we nailed these on. Realistically, we should have been using screws. Something else you can do is you can use tiny little L brackets, right angle brackets to kind of make them more stable. We're going to build these kind of U-shaped supports. We're making this all a foot off the ground. And in this design, we actually had to compensate for the two by threes. We are using L brackets in this and uh, Ave actually went back and used screws for this to make sure that it was nice and secure. So here are the legs when they're all set up and as you can see they kind of come out from this board. That is so that the two foot piece of plywood can actually rest on these supports as well, giving it structure in the middle. To add extra support we also cut one foot pieces of two by threes and put them in about the middle of the five and a half foot piece of plywood. I was also not here for the kitchen build, but I'm going to break it down for you a little bit here. He has built a six inch wide shelf unit at the back, and it's 16 inches high. So with this, you can store all your kitchen needs in there, and it's only six inches wide, so you kind of have to think about what you're putting in there. And you also have a 16 inch by four feet wide um, door and we just used metal chain to support it when it folds down but it's also resting on the back of the bed frame as well and when you're living in a minivan and you have to eat you usually have to bring out your cooking stove and put that on a table of some sort this is actually a table built into your bed frame and this is essentially your kitchen with the nice um, hatch of this caravan acting as a rain shelter. And because there's a door on the other side as well, we actually made this accessible from inside the van as well, uh, which you obviously wouldn't want to have to cook that way, but you could if you had to, you could fold this down and use that as a cooking surface, or you could fold it down and have access to your clothing, a bit of your clothing or camera gear or whatever it be. So that is the dimensions and build of Avi's minivan. If you guys actually want to check this van out in its entirety, go ahead and click the little card that's going to pop up above or the link in the description and it will send you to a tour that Avi did of his stealth minivan camper. All right, thanks for watching. Go ahead and click subscribe, hit that like button, make a comment below. Hit me up on Patreon if you want to support this series. I'm trying to bring some education of how to um, live off grid or in your van and travel cheaply as well as just kind of showing the lifestyles of unique individuals that have gone that route in life. So if you are a supporter of that and have a bit of extra cash, Patreon is a great way to support this series. But hitting subscribe, watching a couple of my videos is also a great way. I appreciate you all. See you next Monday.